Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be painting on a dark canvas. Basically there was a different painting underneath it before. I didn't like it. Yes, that can happen too. And I blackened it and now it's a brand new canvas where we can try this cool new technique on where I put some paint onto the brush and just spray it with this water bottle so it drops onto the canvas because it's so watered out it, it blends in a cool way. But unfortunately there is a limit to how much water you should use and I pretty much tested that limit and uh, it's not usable so now I, I don't even know what I'm doing there now. Trying to see if maybe I can somehow save it but I'm just making it worse now. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. But the technique itself I think it can look really cool and it's something I'm definitely gonna try on a different canvas. So. As you can see here, I'm just wiping it all off and starting fresh, basically. Now I'm just making some sort of a base layer, just playing around a little bit with the colors. I've now already decided also what I want to do next. I wanted to create like a really thick sort of writing or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just using paint straight from the bottle, just going across in zigzags over the canvas. And then it takes about 24 hours or something to dry completely. So you can start the next layer. And what I was thinking is just to start adding loads and loads of different colors through spray cans onto the canvas and create like a really cool dynamic painting, which is exactly what we're gonna do now. In terms of colors that I'm using, I'm using some darker, some brighter of course to create the contrast and they're all acrylic based, but they're diluted or they're mixed with water and not with like chemicals in the bottle so they don't stink as much when you spray them and that's ideal for people that maybe paint inside like I do. I do not want my whole room to be smelling of chemicals so that's why I use the spray paint from Amsterdam. I'm not affiliated with them it's just what I use because they have a wide variety of water mixed colors in spray cans. So the painting is really coming together. I like the way that the thick white line that we put on at the beginning, it really stands out and because it has a very smooth surface, the colorful lines, they really glare off of it. And as you can see here, I tried to do something. I painted like some of the gaps black, but I didn't like it. So now I'm just adding another layer to hide those spots basically, which is perfectly fine. As always, if you don't like something, you can always change it. And that's what we did here. Now just adding a little bit more detail with some splashes because it wouldn't be my channel if we didn't throw at least a little bit of paint at some stage. I thought okay this painting could be done now but I felt like it needed a little bit more of a dynamic and so I wanted to add a few more layers or try something different so I'm taping off the middle. The tape I use is from Tezza but I also recently tried the frog tape, green frog tape which is working really well so I might use that in the future. I also used from 3M, they also have good tape. Yeah, those are my go-to brands. Now we're just spraying the bottom and the top part. We're gonna spray black and we're only gonna hit it from one side so that a uh, little bit of the color still glare through and now you really see the 3D effect of the thick white line that we did at the very beginning. Now the most exciting part is revealing any tape as always. 
to see what we have created. I must say I wasn't the biggest fan of the strong contrast so I wanted to smooth it out with a different effect. So now instead of lines what we're doing is we're just adding spray dots. So we're just taking the same colors as we used before but instead of making lines we're just holding the spray can giving it a short pump basically and creating this effect. Unfortunately, I forgot to press record before, but we use very thinned out paint. I just take the same paint as we did in the beginning. I put it in a small bottle, I add water so it becomes very runny and then I can just use these tubes to press it out and use it for all kinds of different effects. So that's what we're doing now. We're basically combining all of the layers to come to our final layer where we do the same as the beginning with white line to create again a thick 3D effect. With the final layer of this painting completed, I hope that you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, have a nice rest of the day and bye bye.